Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave is here, and I am cheap. Sure. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and welcome back to more Vertical Drop Heroes HD. I am a little bit under the weather, just one of those transitional, seasonal colds that, uh, for some reason, my weak old body tends to catch every time the season changes, but I persevere into the drop. So who do we have this time? Eagle Eye, Mist Bane, and Witch Flail. So uh, we have an immediate leader on damage and uh, a pretty, a pretty good leader on health here as well. So uh, what do we, what do we want to do? We got Death Puppet. We've got Plague, Fire Trap, Omni Slash, Fire Trap, Mega Jump. Uh, Iron Foot and Firewalker, which is a great defensive combo, but really doesn't offer anything else to our run. Smasher and Firewalker and Smasher and Iron Foot, so it's kind of a, a defense-heavy run here. Uh, really, I think that it sort of puts us at a position to pick the middleman here, uh, literally and uh, statistically, the middleman. So uh, yeah, I think Miss Bane's going to be the guy we're going to go with here. 91 health, 28 top end damage. So uh, he's not the best uh, in health and he's not the best in damage, but he's a nice combination of both. Smasher is a really nice talent and Omni Slash should help us out a bit. So here we go. We had a really uh, good run going last time before the game crashed on us. And I do think, I do agree uh, with with the uh, the consistent and uh, lone commenter on these videos, uh, Mr. Bill, when I think he said, uh, yeah, the game cheats. Uh, that was the one run right there. That was my first win. Uh, I was going to beat the game for the first time, and uh, it knew it. So it crashed me, and uh, we are going to try to recover from that, and we are going to go on to the Goblin Forest and do our damnedest to get through Vertical Drop Heroes. So uh, yeah, let's just start killing. We don't have any keys, so we're not going to be dipping into any of these special areas just yet. But, let's see if we can remedy that before too long. Of course, we can always set off the alarms, which will bring us more... Uh, more pickups will bring us more XP, will bring us more gold, a little bit more of everything that we like and everything that we need in order to succeed in a run of Vertical Drop Heroes. So let's definitely do that. We will kind of speed through this first section of the game here. Uh, four enemies for 25 XP. 25 XP is a significant portion of my total XP I need for a level up at this point in the game. So that is a uh, no-brainer because I'm going to kill the enemies that it spawns to get even more HP. So uh, yeah, we don't want to leave this crate behind though. So let's uh, grab that before I go. Building up my gold supply. Everything looking very nice there. Another crate to plunder, and a couple more Gombi warriors. I just noticed those guys were called Gombies. Goblin zombies, all right. Playing this game for uh, 17 episodes, and this is the first time I've noticed those guys are called Gombies. Oh my goodness. All right, we've got a key shrine over here, which I'm definitely gonna uh, take for sure. Uh, because even though we did end up picking up some keys, we are still key light on this run. So we will take keys wherever we can get them. Uh, you know the normal strat, we like to stack up a bunch of keys that we never spend. And uh, then die with like 10 keys. And uh, you know, that just makes me feel good. This water is going to be a little bit tricky, but not too bad. We will get this quick kill. Uh, because you know, why not? Drain this water, kill this Goblin Spearman, and just continue to be consistent in our gaining of, <clears throat> excuse me, XP and our gaining of gold. Uh, you know, this first level is just, it's just, it's a building level. You know, probably the first two or three levels, really. Uh, you're, you're building up. I mean, you're building the base for the run that you're going to have. And a good series of levels here... Uh, in the first couple means a good run. I mean, for me at least. And a bad uh, series of levels means a bad run for the most part. Uh, pretty typical for our first boss here. Nothing too special. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, try our Omni Slash. Sure, why not? That was nice. Basically uh, cleared off about half of the board there, including the boss. So uh, no complaints about that Omni Slash. Pretty glad that I took that with me. An unfortunate uh, yeah, setup over here. Can't quite get to my shrine. 
but oh well. We could free that thief over in the right hand corner and just wait, sit and wait for him to dole out all of his gold, but that would probably be boring. So let's move on. We've got a rainstorm here. Uh, as always, rainstorm makes the water higher, hates the flame, hates the fire. And uh, we hate flame and fire too, so I like the rainstorm, the enemy of my enemy and all that, right? So far the run is shaping up pretty well. Uh, yeah, as I say that in a really odd cadence, <laughs> sort of uh, thinking as my words are forming. Uh, 50 XP, yeah, 50 XP is still a significant portion of our overall XP that we need for a level, so we will definitely go ahead and take them up on that. A crate which contains a key, you're not going to hear me complain too much about that. Uh, going invisible, and eh, not that interested in that. Alright, set off this alarm. And clear out, uh, clear out the uh, resulting uh, goblins, red goblins. Uh, sure, you know, we need to start spending more keys earlier. Uh, and we need to spend just keys in general, which we, we don't do, as I poked fun at myself earlier for dying with a bunch of keys. I almost always die with a bunch of keys. And uh, that really is of absolutely no benefit. Uh, dying with keys on the table is uh, a tragedy, is a... A bad, uh, a bad gameplay decision, because those keys are treasure, and treasure is upgrades, and we want upgrades. I have Firewalker. Okay, I, I made that jump and thought for a second, do I have Ironfoot or Firewalker? I'm guessing that guy's looking for Ravens or Dark Snipers, and I know I haven't killed two of either of those, so I am going to continue up, up, up. If he's dealing with, uh, if he's looking for dark snipers, I am in business. If he's dealing with ravens, I am not there yet. Uh, but we will get there pretty quickly if, uh, if uh, ravens, if ra ravens' normal behavior is any indication, because they usually uh, seek me out. Ravens hate me. I don't know why. Look at me. You know, Mist Bane. What has Mist Bane ever done to a raven? Apparently something. What do we have here? All right. Okay, a crate and a... Yep, hero. I will definitely take that trade off. A shrine for keys. Of course, I'll do it. Lots of enemies on the screen here. Gonna go ahead and take out most of them. There we go. I think our hero... Got a little bit in over his head there, but that's okay. Happens to the best of us. Uh, let's go ahead and Omni Slash again, because, you know, Omni Slash is a, a good, good talent. And we have very little to lose here. We'll grab a key, and of course we will let those uh, two heroes unfortunately rot in their cells. Sorry guys, I just can't make any use of you right now. My keys are more valuable than your lives. Here we go, the Endless Desert. Lots of pacifist orbs right here, I like it. So we are definitely going to collect all those before we start murdering fools. And now I guess we'll start murdering fools, because that was an unavoidable alarm. Okay, so we've got a thief. Hopefully he will live. We don't have greedy, so we kind of have to babysit this thief. Sort of follow him around, make sure that we do get as much of his golden droppings as we possibly can. Eugh, golden droppings. He sounds like the worst kind of fetish. Okay, so he's headed down there. Okay, let's let's follow. Don't die before you give me your gem, buddy. Don't, don't, okay. Did you drop your gem? Oh, you dunce. Come on, man. All right. It's going to be one of those runs, huh? Oh, was that his gem? Okay, well, maybe I'm not so uh, mad now. And there's a shrine of gems here, too, so uh, I'm rolling in gems at this point. I'm not so upset at his suicide now. I guess he realized he had given all he could, and his life had no meaning, so... He uh, decided to end it all on a bed of spikes. Alright, another... Raven? A couple of alarms here. Another thief. Sure, why not? Uh, probably shouldn't have really flooded the level with quite so many guys before freeing that thief. Yep, we will do that as well. 
things are going pretty well. I'm, I'm uh, keeping a good uh, level pace here. Actually doing pretty well, I think, on level for where I am. So I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing here. Uh, just from a gameplay perspective, I, I know I don't necessarily talk about stuff like this very often uh, in these videos, but, uh, you know, I don't use my my slash very much. I do depend on the auto slash uh, for the most part for my attacking. So if you do watch me play uh, and wonder, you know, that is, uh, that is generally my strategy to depend on that auto slash quite a bit. Treasure there. Oh, are you kidding me? Two coins just out of my reach. Oh, well. And since I am killing these guys in a single hit, uh, you know, this is this is the reason that I continue to set off alarms, because there's going to come a point uh, not too far from here. Oh, yeah. And an Omni Slash makes short work of him. feel like we have a pretty powerful build right now. Uh, Omni, Spl Omni Slash is, is doing really good work for us. Smasher is helping us uh, one-hit those guys. Uh, you know, I said uh, we're keeping a pretty good level pace, but actually it's Smasher doing a lot of that work for us now that I think about it. What do we have here? The giant grub awaits in its slimy pit. When you kill one, the grub will split. Hmm. We know the grub. We like the grub. He's a he's a cool enemy, I think. I, I love that mechanic of, of the splitting. I really, really do. Another level up there. I think it's uh, he's one of the certainly one of the most interesting uh, enemies to fight. Absolutely. Uh, he just, he takes a little while to kill. You know, might be somewhat annoying, but he is definitely a very, very interesting guy to fight. Ah, oh, just missed that. I'm not going to wait for that to come back. I think I left a key or something up there. Not a, not a big deal. Not the end of the world, I suppose. And yes, we will free a ranger. We're getting close to double-digit keys, so... Uh, you know, telling me that we have not been spending our keys efficiently. We need to deal with that. The ranger is just going to make everything a little bit easier uh, if he keeps pace with me by, uh, you know, hitting guys here and there and uh, just helping me in general to keep their live uh, their lives low or to keep their life total low so that when I encounter them, I can absolutely destroy them in one swift hit. Oh yes, I thought I could make that jump, and I did. I'm so happy with myself. What do you want, bud? Okay, he took out a sandworm, uh, a sand hugger, excuse me, a while ago. You can defeat three more, okay. I don't even know what a sand hugger is. Maybe we'll find out. I know that's a quill beast. That is a tomb keeper. Alright, Quill Beast. That's a mummy over there. Alright, we got a Restoration Shrine. I don't necessarily think we need it. I think we are just going to set some uh, Fire Traps, use some Omni Slashes, and hopefully make fairly short work of our boss here. And we freed a Wizard. That is definitely a good thing. Omni Slash there. Set a Fire Trap. Oh, Omni Slash again, and Omni Slash again. Which is going to leave us with a lot of guys. And you know what? They're all kind of just coming down here, so uh, I'm just going to sort of let them. I can sort of uh, corral them down here and take them out one at a time at my personal leisure. There we go. A nice fire trap. Ah, I can't reach my... Ah, I did it again. All right, we'll, we'll just drop down here and take these guys out. Or maybe we'll just uh, creative use of a fire trap here. There we go. Yes, creative use indeed. I like it. I guess we could get that crate if we really want it. This, let's see. Was it worth the effort? Is this a game changer? Yeah, four gold. You know, it might be. It might be. We'll have to see. Level 5, the Mushroom Caves. Of course, I've said it a, a hundred times at this point, somehow, in 17 episodes, that, uh, you know, this music is awesome. This is my favorite music in the whole game. Absolutely. 
really gets me it really gets me pumping you know and I, I kind of need it at this point you know picking me up because I'm, I'm sort of getting to that point where I'm like oh you know this is going on forever am I gonna get to the end am I gonna am I gonna make it I don't know all right that's four golds not worth landing on those spikes even though I think I could avoid it hey okay we got an ancient tablet so we know we'll have a uh, friendly wizard somewhere looking for his ancient tablets Sand huggers. I don't. I don't know. I don't know that I ever saw a sand hugger in that last level. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, so you will. You will notice by now. I'm avoiding alarms, even though I'm, I'm doing pretty well damage wise. Uh, I'm just avoiding alarms as a matter of course at at this point, uh, because number one, I want to speed up my progress through the game, but number two, I just don't need that extra headache. There we go, and there we go. Of course, we know that these uh, flying muskrats do follow us down. So we want to actually uh, make sure to kill them. The vampire bats, as they, as they actually are named. Alright, the squids. Hate those squids. Alright, uh, yeah, you know, 14 keys. Absolutely going to do that. We will take a Barbarian. There's a Mimic down below. All Mimics should die. <clears throat> Excuse me, I was going to say I don't know who we have to blame for all these Mimics, but I'm pretty sure it's D&D. I'm pretty sure we have D&D to blame for the concept of Mimic chests. Oh, man, but if someone could tell me the specific, <laughs> the specific person and or campaign... And I could go and uh, personally express my displeasure for the concept of mimics. Alright, we've got the uh, troll with a goblin riding on him, which is uh, definitely aesthetically one of my favorite. I love the look of that character. Uh, but yeah, let's, uh, let's just do some fire traps here. A little bit of self-damage there. A little bit more self-damage. Uh, Omni Slash, which will uh, yeah, finish us up. And since we do have a uh, squid somewhere firing at us, we'll just kind of make haste out of the level there. And we are on the Crystal Caverns, level 6. Descending, descending. Make a really good time right now, so I'm pretty happy about that. Ugh, spiders. That probably means we'll be fighting the uh, Spider Queen, who is an enemy I've had a lot of trouble with in the past, but uh, I've killed her the last couple of times I've had to face her. Um, whoa, okay, just juggled, juggled. Oh, these guys fly now. Oh, that's cute. That's real cute. Real cute. The guys with the shields, you don't see those guys nearly often enough because they look so cool. They're big shields, they're helmets with the metal mohawks on them. Oh, is that, that's just a gimmick, I guess, for this level, is that everything freaking flies. Okay, I see. I see. I see how it is. Jeez. Those guys do not want to give up. I mean, they have a shield, so I get it. All right, let's let's uh, pull out a paladin because he's just going to wreak some havoc. And considering that we do have all these flying enemies, I think a little havoc is uh, is exactly what we need right now. All right, where are we at? Okay. We got ourselves a flying uh, ranger there, so that's nice. Like, everybody has wings here. All right, Omni Slash, Omni Slash, Omni Slash, Fire Bombs. And hopefully that's going to pretty much finish off our mm, Spider Queen. Not quite. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and just put the swords to her. Just sort of tank through the damage there. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, let's Omni Slash just to kind of start clearing out the uh, board here. Didn't quite get a clear, but that's fine. Grab our last couple of coins here. Grab this crate for another key. And let's get out of here. Here we go, Cathedral of Dust. Uh, wow, we're here at the Cathedral under the 20 minute mark, so that means we're doing a pretty good on time for this run, which I like. I like it. Not quite worth it. I'm going to have to hit the spikes at least one time to free that wizard, so that's not worth it. Man, Smasher is just really making a big difference here. Really making a big difference. 
Shrine of Frost or Shrine of Sparks. 11 gold for a Shrine of Sparks. That's pretty good. I'll definitely take it. And uh, we'll pretty much be opening everything we see that we can get to without damaging ourselves at this point. Uh, because, you know, we are getting on towards uh, the end of the game now, so... Alright, we do have ourselves a merchant here. Spiders everywhere. What are you offering, good sir? Force Blast. I think I've turned down Force Blast a couple of times as it is. Uh, you know, but I'm, I'm sure Force Blast sounds good. We'll take it. Man. I'm just looking for something to spend my keys on right now, and I'm not really seeing too much. Gotta remember not to kill those spider's nests. Very little good comes from killing those spider nests. All right, a ranger. We will definitely do it. I'll hit this alarm. Oh, good. I didn't. I didn't actually trigger the alarm. I was gonna say I'll sacrifice that to uh, go over here and free even more barbarians. I'm almost gun shy after our last episode of getting too many things going on on the screen at once because uh, I'm pretty sure that we did a fr uh, an open all combined with a. Uh, that combined with a couple of other things happening on screen that really just caused our crash last time. So I'm almost leery about getting too many too many things going on on the screen at once. Uh, that said, though, not leery enough, obviously, to uh, keep myself from freeing all of those heroes. And I believe they're all now dead. What are you offering, sir? Trait lockpicks. All right, open golden chest without using keys. You know what? That sounds uh, that sounds like a pretty good deal. I think this is that means this is going to be one of those runs where most of the gold that I earn is going right back into the pocket of the merchants. Again, we have so many keys that uh, this is definitely a uh, no-brainer for us. Uh, if there was some way to get back over and free that barbarian, I would. But at this point, I'm just happy to have uh, one ally on my side. Too many spiders, too many spiders, too many spiders. All right, don't die, don't die. Uh, four enemies for 175 XP. Sure, why not? Um, you know, uh, HP is not necessarily something that's hard to come by right now. Uh, you know, that said, I'm losing a bunch of it. And a thief up there that I can't now access, that's unfortunate. All right, more. Oh, okay, I gotta. I gotta this is I gotta make this decision quickly. Stomp kicks a small shockwave. Let's we gotta read it in sections. Uh, directly blow your hero breaking blocks. Okay, so like what the paladin does basically. Uh, sure, I think that's pretty much most of my money now. Okay, uh, yeah, gain a key. We don't actually. We're kind of low on keys, but not so low that uh, we need to actually do that. And I am sort of into that section of the game now where, where I just want to get through it. And I can't believe I took that hit. Okay, so uh, one of our least favorite bosses, most assuredly. But you know what? We can... Uh, exploit some of our... advantages here to try and take her out. And we get a double... a double boss here. That's, that's not a lot of fun. Uh, but wow, we managed to uh, leave behind a bunch of diamonds. Oh my god, look at all that wealth! I got knocked down here and I'm leaving all that behind. Oh my goodness. I just, let's have a moment of silence for all of that wealth that I am uh, forsaking here. Alright. Let's go. On to the volcanic fields. Man, that was so much money. I don't, I mean, you know, money is is not going to be a difference maker here, most likely. But it's just so much money. You know, almost enough money to buy that, maybe. Keymaster. Could have been good. Could have been, could have been. Uh, so I'm getting into some trouble here. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely say it right away. Um, kind of, uh... Kind of feeling a little bit in over my head. Not not 100% in over my head right now. Uh, but I am definitely feeling a little bit in over my head here. Uh, Polymorph. Oh man, I wish I had that money now. Turns the first enemy the spell hits into a flying sheep. Killing a sheep does not remove passive storms. It does make you a terrible person. Doesn't it though? I know, right? I always feel that way when I murder a sheep. God, I'm such a bastard. Alright. 
accompany me, wizard. I require your skills. Okay, nothing to see there. And my wizard is dead. So many maguses, magi, here. And more gold, you know, gold is good. I'm not gonna say no to gold. Oh, oh, oh. Can we jump it? Yes, we can. Can we jump it again? Sure, why not? All right, break away, break away. Thank you. There we go. A decent enough play going on right now. I, I'm, I'm not, uh, not going to pretend to be super impressed with what I'm doing, but oh my god, okay. Uh, yeah, so, uh, firebombs? I don't know if that was the right play or not. Uh, Omni Slash. You know what? It must have been the right play because there you go. And more money that we can't reach. Oh my god. This is killing me. This is killing me. Alright. We do actually have zero keys, so I am going to pick up that key before we leave. And we are on to level 9, the Frozen Peaks. I think we've been here once before. Don't be angry, do not rage. Your skills are changed for just this stage. So we've got Fireball and Golem Shift for uh, for this stage. Pretty cool, level 9. Don't make it here very often indeed, so uh, let's make the most of it, huh? Smasher just absolutely paying dividends here. Uh, the ability to come in and kill these later uh, later game enemies with just one hit is huge. And, you know, we'll never know what my base damage... <clears throat> excuse me. Wow. What my base damage was do, would do as my voice uh, rebels on me there. Uh, without Smasher. But I, I have to say, I don't think we would be one-shotting these enemies without Smasher. Just a cornucopia of uh, stuff to spend keys on down there. And unfortunately, we found other things to spend our keys on. So we have none. And we're not going to manage to rescue all these puppies, unfortunately, and uh, going down here would be pointless as we only have the one key. So I do remember the last time we got here, we were uh, the victim of uh, Ice Bath, which uh, killed us pretty dead. Flying fish, okay. Uh, the Ice Bath uh, kind of got us caught up, and we sort of uh, got juggled on some ice, because uh, when you get hit with a frozen shot, I believe it breaks into ice. Yeah, so you can see there the uh, the penguins, uh, in particular, quite problematic. Quite problematic. Okay, so we've got a chest down here, but that is a really, really sketchy path down. So let's kill this guy and head over here where we can... Oh my goodness. Where we can free a ranger... And then get away from that crazy fire mongoose. Alright, there's our king. Sorry, we couldn't rescue your dogs, buddy. Super sorry. Alright, somehow we made it through there without getting damaged. I like that. Can we jump this? Yes, we can. Grab that one gold, because you know that might be a difference maker. And let's try to... Not get hit by fire. Not get hit by ice and not get hit by flying piranha. I think that's pretty much the key to any good run. You can do those three things. I think you're really in it. All right, let's see. Uh, fires a shard that penetrates boxes. So basically the thing that the, the penguin is doing to us right now. Uh, okay, no, no thank you. I mean, you know, it sounds like a good ability, but I'm just not there right now. Uh, I, I'm kind of just happy with where I am and what I have. All right, so that must be our boss firing stuff at us. So let's uh, get down here and, uh, you know, let's just spam ourselves some Omni Slash. Okay, no, oh, right, we don't have Omni Slash anymore. We have Golem Shift, so I just spammed that out uh, when I probably didn't need to. We also have Fireball, so, you know, we can spam that as well. <laughs> and that'll pretty much finish us off there. And amazingly, we didn't die. And for the first time, I believe this is, in fact, the first time, barring... Uh, me dying on the way over to the portal, we will be seeing level number 10. The Temple Grounds. Here we go. 
and uh, noticing that the tile set is the same as the uh, the temple when we uh, the en enter, so that's kind of cool. New enemies here, enemies we've never seen before. Back to our uh, Omni Slash setup, which we like. Was that falling out from under me, or was that just a sound effect? Okay. All right, and still we are able to blast the crap out of these guys, which is good. I was hoping that fire would dissipate, but it doesn't appear that it's going to. Uh, we do have Firewalker, though, so we're pretty okay when it comes to that. Uh, you know, by pretty okay, I mean actually immune to fire on the ground. So, you know, probably the best pull you could get for this level. These guys are shielded. Everybody shielding themselves. I don't like it one bit. Uh, you know what? I, I can play that shield game too, guys. Guess what? Now I'm shielded. And absolutely loving being immune to the fire. That is proving to be a huge help. So many shields. All right, so let's see. Which of these seems more advantageous? Uh, I'm going to say this one, because this is going to result not only in uh, one chest, but it's also going to re result in a thief. You know, um, money here at this point can really... Wow, that guy is... He's not just shielded. He's absolutely invulnerable. Is he healing or something? Yeah, he's healing. Wow, okay. You know, I don't understand you or how you work, so I'm just going to get away from you. Tough. Now, you want me to spend money, you give me a trait like tough. This is one of those traits. I think it was the first trait I bought in my last save. Uh, in my original save when I did my uh, first impression video. And it's just showing up now for the first time. And I'll definitely take it. All right, so we need health. And nothing here really is going to help me get that. Let's see, when we fall over here, grab that, hit that guy. I don't know which of these enemies is doing that healing. We're really close to a level, so we sort of strategically need to uh, get ourselves leveled up. There we go. All right, now let's not misuse our uh, newfound health here. Dodge, you bastard. You absolute bastard. All right, it was a clutch jump there, if I, if I do say so myself. A little back padding going on. All right. Okay, yeah, that was... T okay, whoa, all right. Uh, so Omni Slash, I'm thinking? Omni Slash feels good? Sure, that, that seemed like that was effective. And uh, here we go. All right. Well, more of those guys spawned. Okay, so Omni Slash again, Omni Slash again, Omni Slash again, and we've got more of those guys. Omni Slash again, Omni Slash again. Refill, Omni Slash, Omni Slash. Uh, yeah, that was kind of going as planned right there. All right, so what do we have left here? All right, all right, all right. Yeah, 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 level up, that's good. I like that. Let's get rid of this guy just because he's annoying. Oh, I can't quite get up there, that's okay. There we go. And you are dead, sir, and this door is open, and what does that mean? What does that mean? Let's see. Let's see. Level 11. All right. I didn't expect you to make it this far. Here we go. Okay, so is this kind of like our final boss or something? Hmm, looks like it could be. Okay. Well, well, you're not as weak as I expected. Do you really want to know the truth about your existence or our existence? Uh, I do, I, I do, sir. Um, I also don't want to deal with those guys. Oh, hello. Okay, you're summoning the undead. Sure, sure. Uh, let's do some fire traps. Maybe. Okay, good. That cleared us out nicely. So we can uh, Omni Slash. Omni Slash. 
Many adventurers have lost their lives looking for this place, and yet of the, and yet all of them, ironically enough, now know the truth. Okay, huh? That's cryptic and weird. Um, I, I got my Omni slashes back. I kind of feel like just spamming that out as he throws a boomerang. Uh, you know what? Help me out, hero. I could use a hero. Okay. I can summarize the truth into one word, oblivion. There is nothing after death, nothing at all. Nothing but emptiness and darkness. Oh, okay. Well, that's unfortunate. And, you know, maybe that is the truth of it all. The power of the Holy Shrine grants true mortality to one person alone, and that is me. No one else shall claim it. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah, you, dude, that's... That's cool, man. Just fire trapping it up here. All right, that didn't go that well. Uh, anything down here worth my time? Oh, just a giant pit of spikes. All right, Pro probably not something I'm gonna stay in close proximity to. All right, my fire trap strat so far is uh, has been ineffective. This is the third or what, f fourth or fifth time that I've uh, killed this guy now, so I don't know how many waves there is. All right, he's got magic blades. Please, just get hit. I don't want to have to breach those magic blades. Uh, let's see, could I... Okay, he's down on the spikes, yeah, so you just hang out down there, dude. There you go. Live it up down there, buddy. I'm just going to stand here and watch you slowly peter out your infinite existence there. He's got... He has, like... He is spamming mat. You see that? You see those? He's essentially got magic saw blades now. So pretty much my only hope is that he uh, actually dies down there on the spikes. So I'm going to cheese the hell out of this. I'm just going to hang out right here. And I'm going to wait for him to die on the spikes. Because just, just getting hit by one of those rotating blades at this point would be enough to destroy me. So I'm cheesing it. It is cheesed. Why won't you die? You cannot defeat me. I am protected by the power of the Holy Sanctuary. Well, okay. Uh, Omni Slash. Omni Slash. All right. You will not leave this place alive. I will make your death as slow and painful as possible for daring to come into this place. Thief, you're not, you're not really helping me out a whole lot here. If I'm in, in all fairness... Okay, he used the red dragon. There is no paradise. No wonderful afterlife awaits everyone. Every one of the fallen now lie forgotten and nobody remembers their names. Okay, I... Dude. I'm just out for an adventure. No, no, you will not defeat me. I cannot die. I will not fall here. S dude. S listen. No, that is impossible. How could you... You, uh, you forgot to factor into your plan for immortality the, uh, the power of Omni Slash. Yeah. All right, victory. As the final blow strikes the Chosen One, the crystal shakes and shudders, and its energy leaves the defeated Guardian and envelops the victorious hero, Mistbane. You may now type on the keyboard to rename the final Guardian of the game. Press Enter to accept. You have also unlocked the Endless New Game Plus mode, where the game is much more difficult. Beating that mode will allow you to compare your high scores with your friends. Well, well, well. All right, what shall the name be? Yeah, let's see. I think it shall be... Big Dave is cheap, right? Of course, it's me. It's me. Actually, as tempting as that is... Let us actually memorialize the name of the true hero, Mistbane. And there you have it. We did it. So after 17 episodes, after a fatal crash, or not fatal in the actual medical sense, in the last episode, we, we did it. We actually beat Vertical Drop Heroes HD. Finally, we finally built a character that was powerful enough after weeks and weeks and weeks of trying to best the challenge. Yes, we totally spammed the end with Omni Slash but, uh, and a Spike Pit, which pretty much saved the game for us. 
But there it is. We did it. We did it. So I think initially I said with this series, you know, I would play this until I beat it. And I'm not sure if I'm going to continue with the series or not. I've enjoyed doing it, but it might be time to move on to something else. So, uh, you know, I'll look around. I'll see what we have available. If Vertical Drop Heroes HD continues to, uh, you know, call to me, then perhaps you will see more episodes of Vertical Drop Heroes HD. But, you know, it's been a great pleasure. I've enjoyed uh, my time with this game, and uh, I have enjoyed the uh, support the, of, of, of everyone. Uh, who's ever watched a, a version of this, uh, an episode of this, or any of my videos. So I do appreciate it. Vertical Drop Heroes HD has been a wonderful game. I do definitely suggest that you pick it up. Maybe you picked it up during the uh, Hallow Weekly bundle over on Humble. If not, you should check it out. It is a wonderful game, as you have seen demonstrated through these past uh, 17 episodes. All right, guys, I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy. <laughs>